Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. I just um, said in my last video that I was going to do a video on totem poles, which um, I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to have like one next to me when I edit it, because otherwise you like, will have no idea what I'm talking about. It's probably best to visualise. Um, so I'm going to put up a picture which um, basically has some of them in order, because I remember doing about totem poles in primary school and... Um, it was just sort of a topic that we had to do. I didn't really take it too seriously. I was like, mm, I think we just made one in art or something. And maybe it's secondary school, I'm not sure. But when I actually looked into it, because I didn't really see this in school, but when I actually looked into it, I don't know why I came across it. Um, oh gosh, this is being so annoying. What is going on? So sorry. This, ah, there we go. So um, basically there are different um, animals in a basically hierarchy I will say um of like um basically a hierarchy or yeah it, it's, it is a hierarchy the way that this is all done and this goes back I don't know where it dates to but I'm sure it's just some culture somewhere um that does this I could look it up <sighs> but does anyone really care probably not maybe they do I don't know totemism it's a native belief so we'll just leave it there, I can't bother to look at the origination. Oh, it's a Native American tradition. Native Americans, there we go. So, on the top, I will get straight into it, there is a Thunderbird, which I literally, I'm going to have to check all the, right, if I put this, sorry, I'm going to have to, while I'm saying this, I have to, right, let's look up a Thunderbird. Because they all have, like, names they all have meanings and i literally should have got this up before i actually got started with filming but unfortunately i did not right here's the right one so yeah if um thunderbird i think it's just like um a person that like can talk to that like has a relationship with god and they're like um adventurous and they're like resilient and they're like and stuff like that i think i don't know about the word resilient when we come across it i'll speak more about that killer whale oh, i just i'm annoyed that i'm not using the same picture i'm not doing very well am i let's try and see if there's a shark on here ah shark so it says here a killer whale but there's also like a shark which i've seen on different totem poles so when you look at different totem poles you'll see different animals but they'll be kind of similar but they'll be slightly different so the shark is prowess uh hunter survival warning signs workaholic savior guardian superiority uh next one down is and these are like characteristics that you can see in people which is why i find them interesting um or you can look at it like a food chain but i feel like there's the way that they've talked about it here it's like characteristics of people so I wouldn't really you can see it of characteristics of animals but you also see this in people don't you um, like a person can be like you know protective and so can an animal do you know what I mean so next one down is frog um which uh cleansing represents rebirth peace adaptability next one down is the two-headed serpent or as they put on this other thing that I'm using a snake We've all heard of that phrase, haven't we? They're such a snake. But I always, I'm coming to see that looking at different stuff like this, there's no like good and bad. I feel like there's a, there's a negative and a positive outcome or a situation that can have on people, but also it's all kind of, yeah, I wouldn't say, oh, that's a bad animal. Like, yeah, snakes might kill you and like a butterfly wouldn't kill you. They can be more dangerous and like stuff like that so there we go um impulsivity but then I also think like everyone's got like an innate like God made us all like as we're supposed to be and like no one's innocent in all situations I feel like this I'm literally I don't want a tangent but I feel like people that float through life thinking like they're like there's like they're always never the problem like like yeah we've all we all do that at times but I just feel like everyone's got their good and bad sides so snake, impulsivity, uh, primal energy, rebirth, transformation, in, in wisdom. Next one down, the seal. I haven't seen the seal. Love, good luck, 
creativity. Maybe I'm a bit of a seal. <laughs> Protection during change, dreamer, active imagination, longing, dilemma. What, they cause a dilemma or they help dilemmas? Right, they're a dilemma. Oh, there we go. Um, the salmon. Again, these are some of the ones I haven't seen. I've seen a lot of them though, but it makes makes me really understand a lot more people that I've come across and I've just been a bit like, sorry, what? Like, there's one that I saw recently, and it's made me understand myself better, but there's one I saw recently, and one of them was um, unconventional ways of going about stuff. And I was like, wow, that makes so much sense. Because if you've ever been in a situation, especially when I was younger, like, like obviously I feel like that's normal, but I used to, just like, I, I, I feel like when I was younger, like, I just used to look at certain people and just be like, what are you doing? Like, I feel like they were being mean or, like, annoying or rude or, like, I just wouldn't get it. Like, because I was quite, like, I don't know. I just didn't understand their behaviour. But I feel like looking at that could have been a factor in, like, why I didn't understand, like, their behavior that seemed illogical to me but maybe if they were trying to like protect themselves or like I don't want to go into like behavioral psychology here that's not the vibe but I'm gonna try and stick to this so next one down is the wolf I've heard of this you ever heard of wolf in sheep's clothing it's kind of irrelevant but yeah the wolf loyalty intuition can be a loner spirit to perseverance yeah this is what i mean i feel like you think about a wolf and you think oh they're so do you know what one animal right that i thought about which people have i swear is a bad association with but it's actually a really good association when you actually look at it let me see if i can find which one it was like you say oh there's so oh there is a weasel i've ever heard of say oh, oh so they're so they're such a weasel like, you know, like, oh, what a weasel, he's weaseling his way in. Where weasels on here are seen to be strong, energetic, uh, wild, ferocious, aggressive, and commanding. So when you say a weasel to me, I'd think, like, like a little, you know, like a bit of a... I don't know, I just... That was, that was just I'd heard someone say in the past, what a weasel, or whatever. Um... Next one, the raven. Because this is what I mean, you can kind of see why they're in a hierarchy as well. Because, for example, the one at the top and the killer whale and the thunderbird, they're very outgoing, they're very adventurous, they're very, like, you know, respect to God, superiority, saviour, whatever. And then the bottom ones, which I'm going to get onto, are kind of, like, quite calm, nerd. Like, we'll, we'll get onto the bottom ones, but you can kind of see how they're in a hierarchy and, like, that that's the way they're kind of designed to be um the bullhead oh i don't know whether i'll be able to find that on here oh, i did see the bull i don't think that's the same though i'll just do bull so fertility uh confidence strength rushing into things insight into the past raw expression and i'll do another one the buffalo because i feel like even though there's loads of different animals like they kind of are grouped together and you can kind of group the birds at the top then it's like the killer whales and the like predatory animals um I've, i missed out the bear as well the bear is one that's like associated let me quickly go on to the bear actually the bear is good i hope i'm not tangenting too much um i'm kind of making sense to myself i understand this might be a bit of a bitty bobby video i do apologize um healing power sovereignty guardian of the world watcher courage willpower self-preservation introspection and great strength because a lot of the time i just think about a person i've seen in my life which exhibits these qualities and i think oh my god yeah that's what that was about because it's so easy to just like misjudge someone and just think oh like they're so weird because they're like got that unconventional quality here like I, I did it. I was like, oh my god, like that's so strange. But the fact is, they could have been doing it for several reasons. They could doing do it to protect themselves, or they didn't want to like have excess attention, or they wanted excess attention because they weren't getting it elsewhere. There's just so many reasons, and 
it's just yeah so yes yeah, so you see all the birds at the top here's um a crow magical shape-shifting creativity higher perspective so yeah a lot of the time the, the birds are at the top which is actually hilarious i've just thought of another way these are literally as well the it's crazy what people think about that comes back around people forget all this stuff or it gets lost in society and people just forget it that it's come back around where the birds fly at the top of the sky don't they and like the whales are like in the sea so like they're at the bottom it could not necessarily be about the hierarchy because I feel like a bird is going to be killed by a whale and the whale is the bottom one. A killer whale, like I said, was lower down. But um, I also think it comes in levels of um, all round. I don't actually use the word power. I don't know. But these are also the levels of the on the earth as well, which is interesting. But it's like, yeah, the birds all have like a higher perspective and like a relationship with God. And then it's like killer whales are all very powerful and whatever. And then it's like, get to like the wolf and the frogs and the earth creatures. Um, and then there's like the sea creatures, which we'll do now because I've literally, oh, they actually have got, Oh no, the ancient supernatural they call it. The the ones below that. So like the bull head and the whale. Let's look at the whale. Um wisdom, provider, intelligence, kindness, deeper awareness, nurturing, navigator, communication. And I wish I could see more about the bull head, but I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna stop there, but I'm gonna link um both the plate like both the web or the websites that I got this information from one main website and then i'll link the picture as well in case you want to look at it closer and um yeah i just find that so interesting like i looked this is loads of stuff i've learned in quarantine to be fair because i literally just had too much time and i just came across all this stuff <laughs> so yeah thank you for listening and um check out my other videos if you want i post more than weekly um and yeah thank you for listening okay bye